Hey guys, what's up? Andrew from American Musical Supply here with the Helix LT from Line 6. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new performance view that's in the Helix LT and also show you how that the snapshots feature in the Helix software works inside of the performance view to give you kind of real-time visual feedback of what's going on at your feet on the processor. So for this demo, I'm playing a Variax, a customized Variax, it's a JTV69 model and we're plugged straight in to the Helix LT, which is controlling the Variax models as I switch presets. So um, performance view. Basically, when you look at the Helix LT, you're gonna see that there are no scribble strips on it like its bigger brother, the Helix Floor Processor. So to get around this, uh, Line 6 have made clever use of the display and through giving you this performance view that you can um, see what's going on at your feet up there on the screen. So, to access that, I'm going to press the home button right now. And you can see here that on this first preset, uh, the bottom four buttons are show the, the bottom four slots on the screen are showing the effects that I have uh, on this preset. So just to talk this preset down really quick, it's based on a class A 15 watt amplifier of British origin. And there's some uh, effects on there as well, a treble booster, a uh, transistor tape delay, and then also a whole reverb. So let's just hear what that sounds like. Uh, this, this is on snapshot one, which is uh, I've set it up so it's just the amp, guitar and the amp. All right, you might have also noticed that that didn't really sound uh, very much like a Strat style guitar. So this preset is set up to actually use one of the models in the Variax that's the semi-hollow, it's based on a semi-hollow guitar in the neck position. Um, so let's check out this performance view and how it works. Uh, I've got a couple of options here. The mode that I'm in, the first, the bottom four stomps, I have those set up to control different effects. So if I want to turn the treble booster on and off, I can just step on uh, button one here. So if I want to turn the delay on, I can step on this button right here. I have tap tempo. If I want to turn the reverb on. So you might have noticed there that the screen was reflecting the state of the effect as I was turning it on and off with the foot switch. Now another cool feature is the way that snapshots are integrated into this performance view and you can see on the screen right there that the top row of stomps, uh, stomp switch A, B, C and D are set up to uh, switch between snapshots. Now the snapshot feature allows me to uh, basically, it's kind of almost like having a preset within a preset. So I have my preset set up with my amp and my effects, but I can save different states of that preset and recall them using the snapshots. So my snapshot A is, is the straight uh, preset with just the, the Variax guitar model going into the amp with those uh, particular amp settings. Now if I press snapshot two, there, I pressed on uh, foot switch B to turn snapshot two on, you'll notice that the transistor tape slot and the hole slot are illuminated. So that's telling me that I've turned on those two effects, the hole and the, the tape delay uh, with that one press of a button. And while that's fading out, I can switch to snapshot three. So there, that with one press of a button there, I turned on the treble booster and turned off the transistor tape delay. And again, I have, uh, I have snapshot four set up on switch D there, which is everything. So to further demonstrate some of the capabilities of the Helix LT with the performance view and the snapshots, as well as give you an idea of some of the sounds you can expect to find in the Helix LT, I have a set list set up with a couple of other presets. Um, so to access that, I'm gonna press the bank up button here, and you can see on the screen that the screen state reflects at the top that it shows me the other presets that I have available here in this, uh, in this bank, in the set list. So I'm gonna step on button B, 
and that's going to recall a preset that is a British style amplifier. It's set kind of crunchy. It's also changed the guitar model in the, in the uh, Variax here to a Firebird style guitar. Uh, so let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so we have a basic uh, room type delay algorithm on there. And again, using the performance view, I can see exactly what's, what's happening in the patch here, uh, right on the screen. And I can use these buttons, turn on the booster. Okay, delay. Okay, I can turn the reverb on and off, whatever I want to do. So I also have a few snapshots set up with different effect states, so let's check them out. So the Helix LT has all the same processing power as you can find in the other products in the Helix range, the Helix Rack and the Helix Floor, which means that you have access to all the same amp and cabinet and effect models as well as the ability to load impulse responses. Um, so let's check out another preset that I have set up here. Again, I'm going to bank up and this time we're using a clean solid state amp. <laughs> The guitar's been changed to a T uh, to a Tele style guitar. Okay, and using my snapshots, have delay and reverb there. Now I've turned the delay off and turned the chorus on with one button press. And now I have everything: my compressor, delay, chorus, and reverb. And finally, I want to take you through one other sound. This is a really cool feature uh, when you pair a Variax with the Helix, any of the Helix line. So I have an acoustic patch set up here. So when I've turned this on, basically uh, it's changed the model in my guitar here to that of a jumbo style acoustic guitar. Okay, I can... Uh, Use if I have some effects set up here and I can turn them on or off using these stomp switches down the bottom. So if I want to turn the compressor on, the chorus, I have a chamber reverb here. Okay, and I also set up some snapshots. So we've got the chorus, I'm um, sorry, we've got the compressor and the reverb. Okay, uh, here we have the chorus, compressor, and reverb. So even from within a snapshot, I can turn effects on and off if I need to. You know, if I wanted to turn the chorus off, I just have to step on the stomp switch and you can see that there, the performance view reflects any of those changes. So as I mentioned, the Helix LT has all of the same processing power as the other Helix units, the Helix Rack and the Helix Floor. Uh, the only difference really is the omission of stri scribble strips and then some of the route output and uh, send and return routing options that you have available. Uh, it's a little bit more pared down on the Helix LT, but the plus side to that is that if you don't need all that, uh, you know, if you don't need to have four effects loops and you can get by with two, the Helix LT is a perfect alternative for you and you can save some money that way too. So check it out today at AmericanMusical.com.